morning. It is Monday. We are going into the office for the first time in like two years. It feels like the first day of school. I'm so excited. I'm gonna bring you guys along just a little bit and I will see you when we get there. I really wasn't feeling it this morning, but I told myself, you can put on a cute two-piece set, do some yoga, drink some water, and get in the right mindset for today, which that helped so much. Abel sent over this two-piece set, actually, so shout out to them because it really made my morning. I'll show you the other ones when I'm packing for my trip later. I'm going to Hawaii, leaving tomorrow morning. I'm not at all packed, so we're gonna have to do that today. Also. I guess I should talk about the clips you just saw at the beginning from the office were now like two weeks ago and I haven't had a chance to vlog since filming those clips basically. But a little recap on what I thought of the office. The office itself is beautiful as I'm sure you guys saw, but I haven't been back since. There's no one there really. There was only like 10 to 15 people total in this office that holds like 600 people. And there's other things like you don't have an assigned desk, it feels like a WeWork, not an office. They don't serve lunch so if I were to go I would need to like pack lunch every day or go out to eat. It's in the arts district in LA so it's all just like more bougie places and uh, I, it's not sustainable for me to eat lunch out every day. And plus, no one from my team is going or has plans on going. I was the only one from my team there. So really there was no huge benefit. I just wanted to go the first day just to see what was popping off. I really do miss the old office vibes, but that new reopening just wasn't it for me. I need to go get ready for my day now. I'll see you guys in just a little bit. If you're shocked, it's 79 degrees and I think the high is like 85 today in LA. It's February, but I'm definitely not complaining. Back home 
home now and it's literally sitting here filing my nails because there's not much that I like about the nails that she did for me. I don't like the shape of them, they're too wide. I find getting my nails done such a stressful experience. I never get the nails that I want. She cut me three times, once underneath my nail while filing and twice on two of my cuticles. Uh, like just be slow and careful. Like, to add to the experience, the lady next to me who was getting her nails done was being so mean to her lady. So I was not trying to add to any sort of drama. If I would say something and then she would be like, oh, I think this is better. I'd just be like, all right. <laughs> because the lady next to me was just like so mean. Anyway, I'll be here filing the nails that I just paid for. I need to make lunch and I need to get back to work. My manager threw me into that meeting with like 15 minutes of heads up and I so basically my product manager for my current team is leaving the company she is taking a break she says from tech she thinks her passion is elsewhere so that's pretty awesome but anyway she's leaving the company another PM who already works here is taking over and we were doing a little bit of a what is that called a it's in the title of the meeting why can't I think of it oh, a knowledge transfer my manager threw me into this meeting with 15 minutes heads up and then halfway through he was like can you actually just like give our new PM a whole rundown of how the system is implemented and I was like oh it would have been good to have a little bit of a heads up because I was like scrambling to get all the the presentation stuff pulled up like you know show her an architecture diagram show her where the code is just like rushing through it I wasn't like no sort of real structure prepared but she said she got a lot from it, so that's good. It's 3.20 now. I have to go pick up a package downstairs. My last order from Princess Polly, I bought a bunch of stuff for vacation. Not sponsored, all paid for by myself. I'm gonna go pick that stuff up and I will see you guys in a little bit. Feel like falling deeper. This is the first thing that I got. It's just some shorts and this very oversized uh, button down. I'm planning to use this mainly as a swimsuit cover up. Yeah, it's super cute. Pink pinstripes. I love it. Definitely bringing this guy. I got this cute little halter dress. I love the color. Definitely gonna bring this guy along. Another dress. I can just throw this on. It's a cute outfit. It has a very low back which is cute. This is gonna be my Valentine's Day dinner dress. I love this detail up here. I love the corset. I love the sleeves, the balloon sleeves. And yeah, I'm just gonna make, have to make sure I iron this or something before I wear it. Another two-piece set. I can't do one of the buttons because my nails are killing me, but I like this. I don't know if I'm gonna be bringing this. I feel like the skirt may be a little too short. And then the last thing that I got are these shorts. Beach shorts, these are a must. I don't have a pair of like loose linen shorts like this, so definitely needed this. This is the pink button up from the set that I showed you earlier. But yeah, 
I think that's all the clothes that I got. I think I got one other dress that I got for Valentine's Day dinner contender, but I'm gonna return that. That's it for my little Princess Polly haul. I'm gonna get back to work for a few hours and then I'm gonna pack a little bit later tonight. I am so excited. I just took some Tylenol because I have a raging headache. I think it's probably because I have a long to-do list for the evening. I wrapped up work, it is six. I actually wrapped up like 30 minutes ago. I was about to go check us in for our flight and then I realized my boyfriend's name is wrong. He has a middle name and I entered his first name and middle name by book through my Chase Travel Portal because I had some points. I booked the flights through that. I checked back on the entry and I entered it properly. But then on the ticket, his first name field is his first name and middle name like, like all together, no space. And I think because I booked through the travel portal, it may have messed up. So I'm sitting here chatting with the Delta agent and then I'm also editing my video. I'm gonna start making some yummy dinner soon, but I'm sitting here running through all the things I need to pack. I am gonna pack this little guy. I sent this over. It is a action camera, a 4K action camera, which is pretty insane. It's by Acaso, the Brave 8 camera. I figured I'll bring this to Hawaii instead of my camera that I'm recording on right now because it's a little bit bigger. Shout out to them for sending this over. I'll use it. And in my next vlog, you'll see some footage from this guy because I'll definitely be including some Hawaii footage in my next vlog. So many little parts. I'll need to figure it out, but. Yeah, shout out to them for sending this to me. Also, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I filed down my nails so much and now I actually like them. So we're doing well. Guys, sorry, she just responded to me and she changed his ticket, but she misspelled his middle name. I'm like, just delete the middle name. It doesn't, we don't need it. But I feel bad, she already, she changed it. I just had a tech recruiter, sorry, this is so much random information in one clip, but some tech recruiters are really ruthless. Like they'll just like cold email me. I'm not looking for a job right now, but I always get these recruitment emails. One of them is, hi Marcella, I have some engineering friends who are unhappy at, insert my company name, because of the stock crash this week. Not sure if you're already looking for a job. <laughs> Excuse me, bro. People are ruthless. I I need to I need to gather my thoughts. We have a lot to do tonight. I'm gonna, like I said, make dinner in 15 minutes. I need to pack. I need to finish editing this video because I'm not editing in Hawaii and I wanna upload for you guys. And I need to those are it, but the packing is a big one. I don't wanna lie. laid out everything that I'm bringing. I have my set that I tried on. This is the pair of white shorts and a white button down. These are all the dresses that I'm bringing. I'm bringing the green one, the white one, and the rainbow one that I tried on earlier. This one, in case we want to go out, it's just like a short bodycon dress. And then this is a flowy, I think I was wearing this today. I'm gonna bring that as well because it's like a nice beach cover up type situation too. I'm bringing the able set that I was wearing today. Now we're gonna do a sunrise hike at diamond head so i think that'll be perfect a pair of yoga shorts this is the only jean material i'm bringing just one pair of jean shorts and then i brought like a few this might be too many of these simple tops that you can pair with any of the items that i brought one pair of pajamas and then these are all my swimsuits and my bucket hat which is so cute I think I'm pretty packed. I have my 
suitcase packed with almost everything. And then I've also have this all ready. So I have just my Polaroid camera, extra Polaroid film, my glasses that I wear to the airport because I don't do contacts on planes. I've got my computer, which I'm bringing with me. This is my personal one. This is, I keep all my electronics in here. This is my journal, a book, my water bottle, and a miscellaneous bag that I just keep in here. It's like gum, hand sanitizer, all the little things that you keep in your bag, but blotting sheets, like all the things that you keep in your bag and they float around and stuff, I just put them in here so that it's all contained. This is all hopefully gonna go in my backpack. So I think I'm gonna shower now and after I shower, I need to finish editing that video and then I need to clean up my kitchen. So just like wash my dishes, take out my trash and I'm done. 9.24, so I think I should be good. So I'll see you guys later, I'm about to.